Hello, my name is John Thompson and I'm an instructional technology consultant with Do-It Academic Technology and I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to show you how you can really quickly upload files that you want to use in your brand new Learn at UW course and easily distribute them to students. So to start out we need to take a look at the files that we want to upload. I've got just a few files here and what I'm going to do is I need to zip them up and if you're not familiar with this process on a Mac you just select them all and then you're going to do a control click or a right click and say compress four items. On a PC it's almost the exact same process. You just select them all, right click and say send to archive or send to zip. So now I have this archive zip file that I'm going to upload into my Learn at UW course. So now over in Learn at UW I need to click in the course that I want to uh, upload the files to I need to click on edit course. And then I need to click on manage files. And so now this is a, an empty file structure. I need to upload that, that zip file that I can then unzip and have all those files that we can distribute to students. So I'm going to click on the Upload button, browse my computer, and find that archive.zip file, and click Upload. Now once it's here, again, we need to unzip this so that we have all the files available to, to distribute. To do that, just click this folder with sort of the vice grip and say OK. And there they are. To distribute each of these files, we just need to select all of them that we want to do. And this is the part that's the really quick part. We select them all and then we click this Create Topics button. And then we basically just work our way down this form. First, you'll notice that it asks for a parent module. Since this is a brand new course, uh, I don't have um, anything sort of filled out in this uh, content hierarchy. Um, basically, how Learn at UW organizes content for students is in sort of an outline format. And there's always headings, which are called modules, uh, in that outline. So I need to add basically at least one heading. Let's say I only want to add one. I'm just going to call it my course. If you knew that these were just going to be uh, underneath one heading, you could just do that and just include the, the ones that you wanted to include for that. So that was it. Just create at least one heading for a module. And then if you want, you can edit the uh, topic titles. These are going to be the links that students will click on to download these files. Um, again, this topic title column, that would be the actual link. The topic short title, that would be something you could edit if you want um, different titles to show up in this uh, navigation area on a left hand sidebar. I'm not going to do that today, I'm just going to kind of show you that you can do that and then say add. And that's it. Now we can tell that they've already been added to the content area because they've got these little T and we can see the titles that are given in the content right here in the parentheses. Let's take a look in the content. Here they are. I can see this my course uh, heading module uh, outline and then each of the files that students can click on. If you need to edit them at any point you can always click on the pencil and change the file or change the name. Uh, it's up to you. And that's really all there is to uh, adding files all at once. You can also add them one at a time using new topic um, but if you're just getting started that's a quick way to do that. Uh, if you run into any trouble uh, the, probably the easiest way to find some help would be to call the Do It Help Desk at 264-HELP or search the knowledge base at kb.wisc.edu. Uh, otherwise, if you're looking for some more general help on how to get started with Learn at UW, you can contact our office, Academic Technology, at academictech at doit.wisc.edu or give us a call at 262-5667. Thanks and good luck.